I understand, I think you co-created the idea with Rupert Reed, if I'm not mistaken, right? Was, I stole the name from Rupert Reed. Oh, is that what it was? Okay, <laughs> right. I saw... so, so Rupert <laughs> generated the name. He wrote a paper back I in see, 2017 right. Um, right. saying, what, so the premise that he wrote is, we don't need dystopias anymore. Everybody knows how bad things could be. You know, it's basically the road crossed with Handmaid's Tale, and we're all kebabbed over piles of burning tires by our bigger and nastier neighbours. It's not good. Mm -hmm. But there's no point in writing utopias because they're all predicated on a leap has happened and neither we've got fantastic technology or a total social transformation has happened and we've sorted things and there's a gap. And you can't see how to get there. The throughtopias are how do we get from exactly where we are here to a future that we would be proud to leave mm -hmm. behind. I want to, I want our grandchildren's grandchildren to wake up in the morning, look back at us the way we look back at the colonials, but it differently. I want them to look back and go, God, yes, you know, they left it way too late, but yeah. they made the choices. They made the decisions. They had the creativity to change things. And mm -hmm. we are here living the life that we're living, which is a flourishing, kind life based on empathy and decency and compassion and total connection to the web of life because those people made the difference. Yeah, and my it. feeling is the only way we get there is, the problem is, I, I would like to read you a quote that I found the other day. This is Amitav Ghosh, who's a, mm -hmm. a novelist. He wrote The Great Derangement. And he says, when future generations look back upon The Great Derangement, they will certainly blame the leaders and politicians of this time for their failure to address the climate crisis. Yes, we will. But they may well hold artists and writers to be equally culpable, for the imagining of possibilities mm -hmm. is not, after all, the job of politicians and bureaucrats. It's our job as writers. And we haven't been, I can't believe I spent 20 years of my life writing historical novels. Now, mm -hmm. I thought then that they would change, but now we need a generation of writers. We need to switch on the television and every single thing that we see is not predicated in business as usual, like it is just now. It's predicated in we are moving towards a future that we would be proud to leave behind. We need every novel. We need every op-ed in every flipping tabloid, not to be, oh my God, you know, people coming in from Ukraine, we can't have that. It needs to be, hey guys, look, we could do this. We could generate electricity and we have the answers. You know that everybody listening on this call knows that we have the answers. We're just not stitching them together because we don't have the vision out there to do exactly. it. I'm talking too much. I'll shut up now. No, that's, it's, uh, I'm totally w with you. 